In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how R deals with categorical X variables. Um, so when we're doing just a linear models regression, uh, what, uh, how, does, how does R deal with a categorical explanatory variable? So to even do that, let's read in some data. There's previous video on this, um, so check that out if uh, this command doesn't make sense to you. We'll read our data in, and now let's explore the data. We're going to get the names, get a summary of the data frame, and then also find out how many observations there are, if we wouldn't be able to tell from the structure of the data. You know, wage, education, and experience all look like they're quantitative variables, but gender is a little bit different. It looks like it's a factor with two levels, female and male. It looks like there are 2,500 females and 4,000 males in this data set. One might ask, well, what would happen if we included gender as an explanatory variable in our, um, in our regression model? Um, so let's, let's actually look at what gender looks like. So if we use this dollar extractor on our data frame with the variable name, we should be able to extract the column and just look at what's in that column of the data frame. Well, it looks like it's just a, a bunch of string ver values. Females, males, looks like the data frame has been sorted into males and females. And there are a lot of them. <laughs> um, R understands things as numbers, but one thing you might ask is, well, what happens if we try to run a regression with something that's not a number like this? Um, is R smart enough to figure out that uh, we really want to coerce it into a number and we really want to think about uh, sort of different levels? maybe include a dummy variable for one of these uh, levels of this factor. Um, so let's run a, just a simple linear regression of log wage on gender and see what kind of output that gives us. So we ran that regression. Um, we used the summary command to display the output. And lo and behold, it didn't bark at us. It didn't say, you didn't give me a number. It understood that what we meant was we wanted to put a dummy variable in for male or female or uh, for, uh, for one of the two. And it looks like they put a dummy variable in for male, so it did what we wanted. Um, this gender male says that that's a, that's a dummy variable for, uh, for male, uh, for when gender is male. And that's, uh, that's giving us an estimate for uh, the effect on that dummy variable. So we can extend this to um, multivariate regression like we did last time. And our other variables, educ and expert, are going to be um, in, in their own rows there. So we've got, um, well, we, we can extend that. We could also think about interactions between uh, gender and experience uh, or gender and education. Um, notice I just specified just the interaction here. Um, if I want the main effect, I should probably put that in there too. So I've, I'll have a main effect, and then I'll also change the slope on experience uh, when, I, when I run this regression. So that's what we ended up having there. We had a, um, so we have a, another column here for the interaction between experience and um, gender. And the way we do that is that's a dummy variable for gender male. So that's kind of nice. We didn't have to create a dummy variable uh, for gender male. Um, for, so we, we didn't have to specify that to R. R was, a, R was intelligent enough to interpret what we actually meant by putting a categorical variable in our regression model. And it, it created the set of dummy variables for us. But suppose you wanted to run a regression on just the male subsample. That's what this first command here does. Maybe I should sort of reconstruct this so we can so we can see like exactly how this is going to work. This this would be just the uh, regression of log wage on education and experience if uh, if we use the full data frame. But we don't want to use the full data frame. In fact, we want to use the subset of the data frame um, where gender is male. So what we could do is we could we could specify right in this command we could say well i know this is a matrix it has rows and columns 
I want to use all the columns because that's where my variables are. So I'm just going to leave that blank. It tells R to use all the columns. But I want to use a logical statement in, in this row to extract all of the rows of my data frame that have a certain property. And that certain property, in this case, is going to be that gender equals male. So this command here says, if gender is male, return this row. And this, that, that's going to make the data frame a subset of the data frame that we were that we were originally working with. This is the way I like to do this. I exploit the uh, the matrix uh, structure of our data frame, and the fact that we can reference rows um, using these logical operators to extract a part of the data frame that we're interested in studying. So we've got the summary command that's going to spit out uh, uh, when we run this with the summary command. That'll spit out some summary output, and lo and behold, we got exactly what we were hoping for. We have 4,000 observations here, and the way we can tell this is our degrees of freedom is nearly 4,000, and if we add the each the number of parameters that we had to estimate, that's going to uh, that's going to add up to 4,000. So, so we have we have the right size data set here if we were if we wanted to just estimate this wage equation on males, and this allowed us to estimate just on the male subsample of our data set. We could do a similar thing if we were just interested in the female subsample of our data set. Just use the logical, um, just logical statement there. Um, if this is true, return this, this row of the data frame. Um, if it's not true, drop it. Uh, we don't want to use the, the, that part of the data set. And when we do that, it allows us to uh, estimate a regression on just the female subsample. Notice that gives us 2,500 observations. 2,497 plus 3 uh, used up degrees of freedom is 2,500 uh, observations. So that's, um, that, that's, those are a couple of useful tips when dealing with, uh, with categorical variables. Uh, one is categorical variables are uh, creates the dummy variables for you so you don't have to do it yourself. And the other thing is using the logical structure of R, you can, uh, you can pretty easily run a regression on a subsample of your data set uh, and the subsample corresponding to a particular uh, level of a factor, for, for example. Um, this, this actually applies more generally if we wanted to run a regression uh, where this where the wage is bigger than 50, well, we could just specify wage bigger than 50 instead of gender equal to female. Um, but that's um, but this is uh, more commonly applied to when we want to split the sample into two parts, and those two parts are two different levels of a factor.